Hello, hello to the amazing people, the Neomer here with some more Dice Stripes Ambitions. Uh, welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna be starting a new run. We're gonna be playing uh, the Archaeologist. Right now we are playing on hard difficulty. So we completed the Hermits last time. That's pretty cool. If you wanna check out all the videos of this game that I made so far, you can check out the playlist in the comments or in the descriptions. Right, Heart. Archaeologist. So we got marshlands, a bunch of food. We can find the ancient altar and we can actually learn how to make the water well from the water hole. Okay. Then we got mountain, a lot of stones here, uh, berry bushes. We can forge that. We can find chickens. We found chickens last time with hermits. I kind of enjoyed extra food from them. So I think it's pretty good rare field. Then we got uh, apple trees. Okay, if you plant enough apple trees, you can also get some nice uh, food over time. Also, you can learn about the bees. Yeah, all of these are kind of cool. I like it. We start with two normal villagers, a doctor, researcher, archaeologist and explorer. Okay, uh, ambitions. Only one ambition. Archaeology enables the construction of field site and archaeology ambition. Uh, set a dice face to six. Only works if the dice has that face. Prepare. That's pretty good. For one stone you can get a six. That's pretty amazing if you ask me. Available training. Archaeologist. When archaeologist performs an exploration, the chance of finding stone is increased. Construction cost. Right. Uh, I have no idea what the ambition does though. We're gonna find out, I guess. This is a nice building. I like it. Okay. Foraging, uh, foraging, forager hut. At the end of every turn, food from all exported locations will be collected. How are we going with food? Okay, I like, I like the forager hut. I think it's pretty good. Right, so you can see here the. So at the end of every turn, food from all export locations will be collected and added to the reserves. This does not work on unique locations, right? Gather food equal to the dice value. You can only gather food up to the amount of the reserves. So yeah, this is very efficient kind of thing. Fishing? Not a huge fan of fishery. I think it's a little bit too random. So we're not gonna go for that. And I'm not a huge fan of hunting because, well, you guessed it, it's a little bit too random. So I'm gonna be going foraging here and yeah. And uh, with archaeology, forging is going to be very powerful as well. We'll be able to turn my foragers into sixes, find extra food. So this will fe easily feed me. Plus, once we find the apple trees, once we plant the apple trees and uh, yeah, and get the chickens, that's going to be OPOP. -OP. Medicine. You can make a hospital. Hospitals overpowered. Because you can easily get fives when you need them for one science dog training dogs i really like dogs as well <laughs> knowledge library when the researcher performs an exploration the sense of fine science is increased okay study copy the dice value onto another dice so we can copy the dice values for for a cost of two science i don't think that's gonna really be that good I think medicine is better. This keeps you safe. For all other stuff in the game, you can figure it out in some other way. Master Explorer. When exploring with Explorer, an additional location will spawn. That's really good. First aid training. All dice with at least a five phase gain an additional five phase. I think this one will be nice. I think this one will be nice. I have no idea what this is. So we might have problems gaining more people. Now we're gonna find out. Let's start. Let's see. Place to change the dice face to 6. Only works if the dice has the face. This can only be used once per turn and it will recharge at the start of each turn. Rest. Shift the dice face to the left. This can only be used once per turn and will recharge. We cannot... We start with, what, 6 people? We're gonna get 3 more from migration and that's it. Right, no more, no extra people. Interesting, interesting. And now I like dogs even more. <laughs> right, so how do we start this one off? Usually I start by going for more people, which is obviously not gonna be an option here. I think I'm gonna go for either chickens, 
berry bushes are kind of also cool. I'm gonna go for... I think I'm gonna go for the forest here. For the apple trees. If I want science, I can go here. So then we can do the dog training earlier. But I think forest... I want to find beehives and then apple trees. That's gonna be good. Beehives will be very good for feeding our people. Right, so forest first. We're gonna turn this one into a six. Gonna go into the forest, start exploring it. Uh, okay, two signs here already. I don't mind that. Oh, okay. Doctor can find unique locations. I kind of dig that. We could pick this thing up. I think that's good. Now we have enough for dog training. I really love dogs, dude. I really love dogs. We're gonna need four forests though for that. So we go into marshlands here. Yeah, I think so. I think so. There we go. Archaeology. Win by finding the treasure of the ancient civilizations. Search for treasure. Build field sites, search for treasure. You will need different dice types for this ambition. Normal villager, visitor, explorer dice cannot be used. Okay, I think this will be fun. This looks, this sounds very, very fun, actually. Uh, okay, this thing, I can turn it into a six, find a new location. Which might be okay. We can also rest and turn it into something smaller. I don't think that's really necessary, is it? Mm, I think I would like to have like a normal villager around. So I'm just gonna pop this, go explore the mountains here and end the turn. Once we have the dogs, we'll be able to like do those. Okay, we can get a one. Okay. Kennel. Yeah, I want to build a kennel. How are we going to do that? Uh, how are we going to build a kennel? <laughs> hmm. I can do this one into a six and then rest twice. I guess that works. Because I really want the kennel. <laughs> We're gonna need to collect some wood. There's some here for a tree. And then we'll be able to build. Wait. I can get five here. This is my only five. That shouldn't be a problem though. That shouldn't be a problem. Well. I need four more here. So I need this five there, kind of. And I would like to explore. But then we lose this five foot, uh, five wood here potentially. But I really want the dogs next turn. That's not even, you know, I want the doggies while I'm still having food to spam them out because I cannot make new people. So dogs are like a pretty good choice here because they're gonna be the ones getting science for me and all this good stuff, right? I can delay exploring the forest here by one turn, which seems like a pretty bad thing to do though. No, no, no. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to optimize something here, which probably doesn't need optimizing. I'm just gonna forget this exists. I'm gonna grab three instead. I can grab it here though. Right. And that means we can grab that. And we have a one here. What do we do with the one? What do we do with the one? We research archaeology. I mean, I'll have to do that eventually. And we might as well do it now. Yes. Okay. Build a field site. Research any. Whoa! 
Find the treasure by exploring the ancient ruins. When a dice is placed, it will be rolled and the villager will be move in the direction matching the criteria. If there is no match, there will be no movement. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh my. I like this a lot. Okay. This game, like, these ambitions really are so different from each other. Like, I, it's it's so simple thing, right? But, like, you take the core mechanic of this game, rolling dice, and, yeah. So, for example, the first exploration, if you put a forager there, he gets 100% chance to do it, right? So, if you have, like, if you have, like, the correct, uh, correct people, it's gonna be way easier to explore. Oh, this is so cool. So, I guess I cannot search yet. Huh. Why? It's weird that I can work on this even before I have the field site. Is that intended or would it just fail? Anyhow, we need Forager anyway for that. Um, oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Field site. I guess we can try to work on that. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Now, I want a whole bunch of dogs probably uh i guess this is a chance we have force force proves to be hard to get for me so and i don't want to train any builders because i don't like their dice i don't like force actually yeah i don't like force although three four and five oh but some of these places like some of these places like require you to have like a certain <laughs> oh, this will be incredible. Like, you will be able to go backwards if you roll a certain dice. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Right. Uh, let's, uh, let's focus on the... Okay. Let's see. Right, I want some dogs now. We have plenty of food, so we can afford them. Um, I mean, foraging is also kind of cool. Like... It's a bit weird, it's a bit weird, but I think foraging is still pretty good. So we could go and grab some foraging here, like that. We'll be able to build a forger hut. That means we will need some stones and stuff. Okay, the earlier we invest in docks, we're gonna be better off, right? When approach, the chance of finding stones increased. Chance of finding science is increased. Do we want science? Well, kind of, right? Also wood. Okay, there's some woods there. Okay. I kind of want to start building the field site, but I also want some dogs here because dogs will like get things started. There we go. Oh yeah, we can breed one dog per turn. Okay. So we should do that when we can. We can grab a new location here. Do I want stones? Well, not really, no. Uh, a six. I mean, I should use this when I can. Although I don't really want stones, but hey, there we go. And uh, yeah, do we drop down a field site? I guess we could. I could also grab this wood here. Let's do that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Investigation. We're gonna be doing a lot of investigations. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's a high chance of these investigation events when you're playing these. One, five, or six. Look at that. I'm gonna grab it because why not? Let's get into the groove of exploration, right? Two stones. That's definitely not what I wanted, though. <laughs> right. We can explore this thing. It would be a shame to let this five wood go, so we're not gonna let it go. There we go. 
Let it go, let it go. Okay, let's see. I need some wood. I also need to clear some spaces because we're gonna be getting some more here. Uh, let's clear spaces which have like, which are not foraging, right? I should definitely research foraging. Oh, we did. We can make a forager hut. Okay, we're gonna make a forager hut. What do we need for it? Two, four wood. Uh, that will start clearing the spaces like crazy. I think that's a good one. If I build a forager hut. I'm lacking people for everything. We're gonna get beehives here. Beehives will help us feed ourselves, no problem. I want also another dog. That's expensive though. That's expensive. Can we afford that? That's a really, really tricky question. Maybe we can't afford to write another dog right now. Not before we build a forager hut. So this should be a really smart thing to do, right? Yeah, so we start collecting all this food in. And we train a forager probably. This was expensive, this five wood. Yeah. But uh, okay, we get like beehives now, which is good. Yeah, but we have to like buckle up a little bit here. Uh, right, 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 right. So let's see, we build this thing. I mean, we can. I think I want to build this. So we start dragging the food in. We have food for like two more turns. That should be enough to stabilize, I think. We are turn four, we already have so much stuff. Uh, this investigation, which was a really stupid move though. <laughs> I can't believe I went and do that. Um, two stones, yay. <laughs> uh, there's some good stuff we'll be able to do with those two stones later though. Okay, let's do this. And let's get this one into four. There we go. And now with these two doggies, I kind of want food, but I also kind of want the forager to grab that. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go about that. We could clear this one. I don't think I'll be able to pull this off without foraging for food with my dogs. So we're going to be doing that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well beehives, okay, it's gonna be good. Oh, four for four, I'm gonna grab that, I think. Right, so I want to like go and explore some more. We can train a forager here. I probably want to do that. I also want to like explore locations. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. So I want a new location which is rich in food. I probably want to use a normal villager for it. So we put this one here, okay, a doctor, an archaeologist. I have to be careful, like, what we turn into sixes and what do we do with those. Uh, let's try to grab some food here, marshlands. It's not really super rich in food, though. Two food, that's not too bad. So these will be dragged into the forager hut. Right? So if we train a forager, we'll be able to do something nice with that. Uh, this, I probably want to let it grow a little bit before we harvest, because it gets halved each time you harvest. So it's like a nice spot, but you know, I'm going to grab... Well, this goes away anyway into that, so that's really good. Yeah, I want to clear some stuff now, basically. We can clear this one easily. We put the explorer here and a couple of dogs. There we go. And we get two, five, seven food next round. This goes away. This doesn't go away. We can remove this one also. Wait, no, this one also goes away. So three of them go away. So we're going to be able to explore a bunch of new stuff. Good. Now question is what do we do with these? Uh, field site. I can wait a tiny bit longer, but... Um... 
Random danger next turn. Master explorer. When exploring with explorer, additional location will spawn. That's really good. I should grab it. I should probably grab that. We're gonna like clear a lot of stuff next round, so yeah, that's gonna be really good. So with this thing, like if you remove these two, if you remove these two, we'll be able to clear this one as well. Okay, we can put this one in here. I want more dogs. I can't afford it though. Well, now I can, right? Yeah, now I can afford it. Okay, let's not push ourselves into a really hard situation though. I'll go for a dog though, I'll go for a dog. It is a bit scary, we have the beehives though, we should be fine. Plus forager, right? So breed, right, we have enough, okay. Can send this dog to do like, look, he can research apiculture, isn't that lovely? That, do I want to research apiculture? Build some beehives, that will stabilize me nicely. I probably do. Or I can remove this tile. What goes away? This one and this one. Only two tiles go away. I think it's better to remove more tiles here, actually. Okay, and the third. And the turn. Right. Foot opportunity. Make a map. Okay, we will need a map. I won't, don't want to lose beehives. Well... Maybe I do. Right, Forge. Only has seven in it, which is like, ish. Master Explorer. So we can explore now with Explorer and find two locations, which is insane. Gonna go for food here, though. There we go. Right, food. We can grab this five foot here, which is amazing. That almost stabilizes us. Wait, what? Did I train a forager in the end? It seems like I didn't train a forager. Okay. I should train a forager. Um. Let me think, let me think here. I'm really lacking people, that's like one of the issues here. So we could train a forager, so that would be next turn. What about this turn? I mean, this turn I can grab this five here. Um, yeah. And we already have five dogs, so we are looking better on that place as well. Forest. We need more dogs. Oh, goes down to three. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. We can get five and goes down to three. Then it takes only two turns to grow. So every three turns get we every one, two. So we forage, next round we don't, and the round... So every turn, two turns we can get five. That's better than getting six every three turns. Hmm. Round it up. Yeah, that's interesting, actually. Apiculture. Do we have enough food? We actually do. Okay, we are training a forager. That's nice. I'm gonna go and grab another location here. Uh, maybe I didn't want to do it with our colleges though. Can you find unique locations? You can. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, with this tree, we can go and grab this food. Okay, with the dogs, I think I'm not gonna grab food. I'm gonna remove this tile here. There we go. Yeah, we're starting to steamroll here. I think it's actually better to breed a dog here though, considering the situation. But then we're not gonna have the forager next round, which sucks, right? Ah, we can breed it next round. 
I don't have enough people to do everything I need. That's like... Eh. Oh yeah, we also need to do the map. Eh. Um, right. It's a harsh road. Well, at least we have the forger. He comes here, gathers 12 foot. So now we're fine with that for a while. Then we can like do this thing. We can send anyone here. That doesn't matter too much. Master explorers should be exploring. There we go. That's really good. If you're already exploring marshlands and you send an exploring into marshlands, you're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff. I was unlucky with the I was unlucky with the food though. This should have been mostly food. It's not. Right. <coughs> right. Uh, then we sent our dogs, so we go and clear something if we can. So like this one here. We actually have enough food. Okay, let's do the doctor. There, let's do this and let's max out the doctor as well. I'm gonna do the explore here with it. And then this researcher is gonna go and grab a doggy. Yeah. How much food we get next round? Three, five, five. But we have enough for two rounds here. Okay. Dog, grab that because that's not going to be available for much longer, right? Although it's not the best style ever, but hey. Okay, four dogs now. I think dogs are really good for this one since you're limited with people, right? Okay, there we go. We made a map. We recalled. We recalled what's going on. We found the water hole. Good. We can research the water well. So now we can flip the dice. Not that we really need this, so I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing that we grab that at all, but hey, it's there. I kind of want to build the apiary, I think. And I also want to build the site. I want to do everything. Two, four, and five. Two, four, and six. Two, five, and... Yeah. One, five, and six. Yeah, we don't have anything for this. Okay. Right, doggies, doggies, doggies. At least we don't have a problem this round. I think we build an IP array if we can. Um, uh, I mean, I can. Yeah, I can build it and it starts accumulating loads of food. Right. Uh, okay, so with this one then. So we flip it into a five and move it to the left. That works. It's gonna be hard to clear some of these styles. Maybe I should have popped Amnesia. That uh, we would lose these, I guess. But well, if I put a doctor in here, we are basically solved with food for this round. And we can send an archaeologist to do what exactly I need this thing. Okay, but but I want to Yeah. There's no room to find an extra location with the explorer. So that kind of sucks. And this one's so hard to clear, actually. This one will be hard to clear. That sucks as well. Well, can we get a tree here? I guess we can flip the explorer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's clear this one. Uh, flip. Okay, where can we get the tree? This one can be three. So we have to flip it into five and move it two times. Yeah, that sucks, but I want to get rid of this style so badly. And this will also, this will research the water, will also get rid of the watering hole here. Uh, can find a new location with some food. Oh, not you though. Oh, let's do, let's do the forager actually. 
there we go nice that's good send you there good uh you can pick up something i don't really care question is though what do we do with you i can do the first aid training i guess so i guess we didn't build it i a period then medicine search medicine set the dice face to five only works if the dice has that face <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're gonna be researching something this round. So medicine or first first aid training is not too bad. Okay, let's do first aid training, I guess. Okay, you can go and grab. Oh, a new dog. We don't have enough though. Okay. This. Okay, we're gonna drag in lots of food this round, so that's good. Get rid of two tiles. Okay, cool. There we go. First aid training. Okay, forger can now pop 12 foot, which is amazing. Migration. I'm going to get another migration. Yeah, next round. Good. So we can do migration here. New people. That's really good. Not enough food for the next round, really. I'll see about that. Bam. I think uh, this is a bit okay I can get a two out of this one easily okay this is something that turned out okay I guess there we go some food some science not too bad oh look at that four that's not too bad okay you put you in there Right, doggies, let's go grab that, grab that, grab that. Now the problems start. So we grab these two, that's fine. I can grab this tree if I move this twice to the left. I think that's probably worth it, get rid of that thing. Hmm. I could also build the apiary. Can I though? I can. Let's build the apiary finally. Because sooner we build it, faster we'll have like no problems with some stuff here. Yeah, okay. We have one more, more dog though. This sign is going away, so let's grab it. Good. And now we finally have like proper people. Like. <laughs> It's gonna be more mouths to feed, but it will also like um, bring us more stuff. Right, so this one goes in there. We need two fours. Let's see what can be a four. Uh, yeah, it's not very easy getting a four. But Apier is online, wonderful. Uh, right, 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 right. So we can harvest that. We should probably should. That's going to be enough for this round. And then soon my APR is going to kick in as well. Now, where do we get the force? So we can, I can get the four if I move this one twice to the left. I think that will have to be good enough. I think that will have to be good enough. We can't flip or anything like that. Random danger next round. Okay. I was. It would be better if this one was a five. So it was good to take the first day training. I think. There we go. Nice. And then put this one in here. Get five food. We'll still lack a little bit of food here. Okay. Explorer is good, I guess, but we can also do it here. Try find the ancient altar. That's not very good. What I really need is like, I really want apple trees actually. So let's go for that. I'm just spamming marshlands here. 
Yeah, let's go for apple trees. There we go. Um, so there's some more food there. Now I'll need probably to send a dog here somewhere to grab me some stuff. This can pick up this wood. Do I really need that wood though? Kind of don't. Let's grab this food, wood so we clear this location instead. Yeah, let's la just leave this food around here. I don't care about that. Right, can we get a tree here? Well, we can from here. No, we can't because neither one of these dice can produce it. Okay. So we cannot clear this one. We still need one more food though. So. Hmm. I can max the doctor. Send him to find the unique location. There we go. I'll pick up some food here. Well, there's like the only thing I can do, right? Yeah. Um. Think, 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 think. I mean, it's not optimal, but like this solves my food problem basically. I will, I will have to scrounge a little bit until the apiaries start kicking in. Because once the apiaries kick in, we'll be able to do like five foot for five more than once per turn on average. I'll be doing it twice per turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Plus the forager every now and then will be covered. So I guess this one will not grab, but uh, we can go like here. Start clearing another tile. There. Let's go. There we go. We get some villagers. Now things will become easier. Uh, just make sure we don't <laughs> kick the bucket here. Okay. We got some nice reserves here, which forager can pick up. Oh, we got a five here. Now that solves a lot of problems, actually. There we go. We have a fire. Now fire is going to be hard with this one, but we can do this. So that's one. Uh, we can do this one two times. Maybe I get villagers and I solve the rest of the fire next round. I'm maybe worried that I will not be able to pull it off fully. So that might be a little bit of a problem. Um... Okay, I have a tree, so I can clear this. Trees are pretty rare, so I should use it in here. Okay. I'll probably grab a new location. I probably... So Forager just doesn't forage enough here. Although, for... No, I think it's best if I just pick everything up here. There, that's enough. That's enough. And some more for the next round. And then I'm gonna use one of the sixes here to like get another villager next round. We are still enough. I can use the explorer to explore this further. Let's try to find those apple trees. Those will be helpful once we find them. Uh, right, so, oh, I can grab a five. What do we do with a five? Nothing right now. I can go and grab the marshlands. It's probably a good idea for some extra food. Okay, and we can clear this tile. Maybe we can't. This is harsh. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um. Well, I want to grab this probably. But that still doesn't clear it. Let's clear this one, actually. So this one we clear, this one we clear. Uh, what else can we do? I mean, I can pick up some food so the forager doesn't have to do it. I mean, it's not like I can do anything else with the dogs, right? Yeah, not right now. Yeah, this beehive. I might drop this beehive. I'll probably harvest the five next round and then remove it. 
it's like starting to not be that great um doctor where do we send these people that's a very good question <laughs> that's a really good question uh, what can you be I mean I can stop this one until the next round I guess and then we got this five here uh, I can research something let's research something just to get it out of here but these are like, like last five though can I turn this into an even? No, I can't. I can breed a, breed a dog. There's not much use doing it this turn though. Hmm. I could pick this up and leave. We get one less villager, but we actually do something good with the, this one. Okay. I can actually train a dog and leave with a dog. Yeah, it's a little bit better. There we go. Okay, dog. Tell our people that we do not want this style anymore. Cool. Uh, right. So I think we are doing really good here. We are on turn 11. I think... I think... Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to make a cut here. Uh, I think we are doing amazing though. We pretty much stabilized. Now we're going to start using this apiary of mine each round. Um, that's gonna be amazing. Uh, food, pretty good. Whole bunch of dogs. I still need to take out the fire here and accept another villager. It's still not gonna be full, but that's okay. Uh, illnesses start coming in, but uh, we should have plenty of fives, I think. But yeah, we're gonna make a cut here, and next episode, we're gonna finish it. We're gonna build a field site, start exploring. I think we should win by turn 20 or so, unless we get unlucky. Well, this might take longer, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is a nice event, actually, if you don't get lucky and get the dice you need. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. But I'm very optimistic about this run. It looks good. I'm going to invest in apple trees and I will have no problem with food, right? Right? Yes. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, don't forget to like the video. And if you enjoy my channel, do not forget to subscribe. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. The Nehmer signing out. Bye-bye.